First thing I'm going to do here is set up my project, uh, set my canvas height, width, resolution, and give the project a name. Also going to pick my paper type. I don't like a real grainy paper, so I pick a nice uh, watercolor paper. And import my sketch onto the canvas, getting it set where I uh, want to, to start the painting. Immediately, I'm going to save my project, uh, find my directory, give it a file name. Uh, you can never save too often. Uh, try and keep doing incremental saves. Then I'm going to grab my palette. You can grab mine from uh, Restore Greg Newman's Mixer Pad from the Mixer menu. And uh, these are the most common colors I'll use in a project. Uh, I like more muted colors, nothing real bright. Uh, and then I'm going to import my reference image. Keep that close by. I try and keep it loose as I'm painting. I don't want to, uh, to, to get too technical in the early stages. Okay, initially I'm going to uh, make sure I'm on the canvas layer and grab some uh, nice skin tones to start blocking Scream in a little bit. I uh, ended up changing the name of this to Yawn in a later date. Um, I'm going to start with, I think, a gouache brush, uh, double checking my, my paper, and uh, going to start blocking this and keeping my opacity fairly low. And uh, I've got to make sure my opacity is set properly on the sketch so I can see my paint. Start blocking in my lights and darks using a fat brush. I don't want to get into any detail at this point, just blocking in my highlights and my shadows, darks and lights, to uh, start building up the shape of, of the face. I'm not too happy with the gouache brush right now, so I'm going to switch to an oil brush, uh, the bristle oils. It, uh, the resaturation is a little nicer and it, it blends nicer. Uh, get myself a nicer skin tone for the darks and start blocking in the face here find my, my darkest areas and my lightest areas and I can start to uh, build up the shape of, of the, the person. Uh, if I'm blocked in a nice purple background. I don't think I'm going to stick with that. I'll, I'll probably change that at a later time. And just loosely go in and, and fill in the shadows, fill in the lights, get his wrinkles where I want them, and uh, slowly carve out the hair. Here I'm switching to a thinner brush, uh, just reducing my brush size so I can start getting into some of the finer spots and detail a little bit. With uh, hair, I don't get uh, very detailed at all until later stages. I'll go in and block in some lights and darks, uh, maybe throw in a couple of fine strokes just to see how the hair is going to lay in proportion to other features of the face. Uh, and just keep uh, working smaller brushes and smaller brushes until I'm down to a detail size. We're uh, speeding up the painting process here. This painting took me about 10 hours to do. Uh, but you can see how I'm switching to, to smaller and smaller brushes. I'm, I'm not getting too, too detailed, just trying to get the shapes as as, as perfect as possible. Uh, 